वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट टूडे इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द थर्टी मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर द सब्जेक्ट इंटरनल कम्बशन एंजिन फॉर अपकमिंग जी टी यू एग्जामिनेशन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द एम पी क्वेश्चन चैप्टर वाइज सो लेट स्टार्ट विद दूनिट नंबर वन यूनिट वन इज इंट्रोडक्शन एस्पेशली इन द न्यू सिलेबस कंटेंट गिवन इन दूनिट नंबर वन इज कंपेरिजन बिटवीन एस आई एंड सी आई एंजिन बेजिस ऑन द वेरियस एस्पेक्ट but in the practical portions the wall timing diagram is also given so combinedly i have taken the both the points in the unit number 1 so basically the most important question from this chapter is the comparisons between si and ci engines basis on the different aspect and the wall timing diagram for the petrol as well as diesel engine for four stroke as well as two stroke engine so this is the two important question from unit number 1 unit 2 is a combinations of fuel properties and its supply system so i have selected the two imp questions from the fuel property that first one is the desirable properties of ic engine and the rating basis on the different numbers for the ic engine fuels that is octane number c10 number hucr diesel index and etc from fuel supply system for the petrol engine the simple carburetor and its working is important questions as well as the drawbacks of the simple carburetor is an amp equations so the question asked in the gtu examination for 7 mark is the explained with the need sketch working of simple carburetor and also explain the drawbacks and applications of simple carburetor and second for the petrol engine sometimes we are using the multi point fuel injection system so the, this is the important questions from the fuel supply system now for the ci engine the different types of nozzle is an imp questions and the last is the explain the construction and working of boss fuel injection pump so this is the important questions from unit number 2 now for unit number 3 unit number 3 is a consist of the three different topic first is a combustions of fuel then combustion phenomena in si and ci engines and last one is the combustion chambers but especially most imp questions is the question number 9 and question number 10 that is the stages of combustion for petrol and diesel engine using the pressure versus crank angle diagrams and the second important question is the abnormal combustions so that is a surface ignition and different types of surface ignition terms The question eleven is explain the following term related to the surface ignition, that is pre ignition, run on, run away, wild ping, and rumbles. Then the question twelve is the classifications of combustion chamber for petrol engine and diesel engine, and explain any one of them. But especially M types of combustion chamber is repeatedly asked in university examinations. Then. the question 13 discuss the effect of the following factor on the knocking tendency of an ic engines it is the basis on the compression ratio spark timing flame velocity pressure and temperature of mixer at inlet conditions and last is the important that is uh, the induction swirl as well as compression swirls and we need to also explain the design of combustion chamber basis on the method of swirl so this is the important questions from uh, the unit number 3 but especially student you must need to prepare this 9 and 12 number questions then chapter 4 is consist of the three different topics engine cooling lubrications and supercharging so from the cooling in general it is ask any any one of the cooling system but thermo siphon cooling system repeatedly asked in the university examinations for the lubrication system explain with the need sketch splash lubrication system and from the supercharging the define supercharging and its advantage also explain the method of supercharging and in gtu repeatedly different method of supercharging is asked the next question is the state effect of the supercharging on the engine parameters like the power output mechanical efficiency and fuel consumption and sometime it also asks that differentiate between the supercharging and turbocharging so this is the important questions from unit number 4 now unit 5 unit 5 is very important because if you see 
the different GTU question paper than numerical from the performance and the testing of IC engine is there. So question number 20 is the explain the method of obtaining frictional power and explain any one of them in the detail. So there are various method of frictional power measurement is given in our syllabus. Out of that any one you need to explain like a Morse test or Williamson line method or any uh, any other methods you can able to explain five years or more than five years paper of IC engine then definitely one numerical is there basis on the performance test of an IC engine it is of either heat balance sheet type of numerical performance parameter calculation type of numerical or it is also based on the Morse test so this is very important so you need to prepare the numerical from this chapter and last question from this unit is explain rating of an internal combustion engines then unit number six is the emission of IC engines so uh, here the question from the emission of IC engine is write down the power stages of emission norms in brief for cars and two wheelers so you need to write about the power stages different power stage five six like that and the next question is explain briefly the exhaust gas recirculation system that is EGR for IC engine. Question 25. State and explain different method of measurement of pollution in the exhaust gases and explain any one. So students in our syllabus there are various instrument is given to measure the various pollutant like the NDIR then the FID and CLA is there. So you need to explain any one in the detail along with the need sketch. Then from unit 7 is important because it is a combination of two topic that is unconventional engines and alternative fuels for IC engine. In unconventional engine there are three uh, engines is given. So the question 26 is explain the working principle of Stirling engines or Wankel engines in the detail along with the need sketch. Question number 27 explain the sterified charge engines with need sketch. Student definitely out of this uh, unconventional three engines definitely one engine will be there for seven marks in your paper so you need to prepare it then for alternative fuels uh, we have to explain any one like the alcohol is there methanol is there so we need to explain any one alternative fuels along with their properties in comparisons with diesel and the question number 29 discuss the suitability of hydrogen or LPG or biogas as an alternate fuels in the IC engines and last question is discuss in brief about the suitability of the following fuels in diesel engine that is alcohol vegetable oil means a biodiesel and the hydrogen so students from the alternative fuels there may be chance that hydrogen or LPG biogas or biodiesel will be asked so you need to prepare the advantages disadvantages and properties of these alternate fuels in comparisons with the diesel I hope that this video is very helpful to you for the preparations of the GTU examinations and last I wish you all the best for the examinations and thank you for watching this video thank you all